interesting machine. Look what I found. Like Minion's eyes. Let's visit Luigi's Fujo workshop. Hi everyone, it's Lulu. Let's experience something new. This is a data center core switch. It features ultra high speed forwarding, transmitting 2,302 hour long 4K UHD videos per second. Usually, you can find it only in large data centers. Today, I'll show you around Rui Diaz Fujo workshop to find out how it is produced. Let's go! Going through the air showers for clean room sanitation. This is really a lights out workshop. Just kidding, let's turn on the lights. The real lights out workshop is coming next year. Please stay tuned. Before coming off the line, a switch needs to go through solder paste, printing, surfacing, mounting, soldering, crimping, and assembling. Testing. Today, let's follow the production process and enter new territory. Here with me is the workshop manager, Chen Han. Hi, Chen Han. Nice to have you. Hi, everyone. I'm Chen Han, and welcome to Ruji's workshop. People usually don't know much about workshops. How do you feel, Lulu? When I got out of the plane, I found that the high humidity is suffocating. But here in the workshop, it feels curiously nice. The humidity and temperature are totally different from those out there. Exactly. We keep the temperature precisely at 25 degrees Celsius and humidity between 30% to 70%. The temperature and humidity keep the solder paste at its best and avoid damage caused by static and moisture. I see. It's almost a nice place to live. Also, I expected more workers in the workshop. Ruji is heading to an automatic and intelligent future. Therefore, the workshop is less labor intensive. The SMT line here needs only one person to operate. The workshop is controlled by MES for digital decision making. In some cases, machines are more qualified for equipment operation. What exactly are the operations where human beings are less competent than machines? For example, we use a 01005 equipment in surface mounting. With a 0.2mm by 0.4mm size, it is barely visible to human eyes. Now, we're at the distribution and burning area. This is the first major work stage. Are these the solder paste printers? What do they do here? These are solder paste printers that undertake the first major work stage of our data center product. They use blades to print solder paste onto the bonding pad. After that, the printer checks whether the solder paste size meets our requirements. Then, we go to the second key work stage, surface mounting. We use surface mounting and visual alignment systems to place components onto the bonding pad. To ensure product quality, we use this AOI equipment and optical inspection techniques to make sure that all solder joints are intact. For some intricate products, we use selective soldering to customize the parameters of each solder joint, ensuring optimal joint condition and zero defect.
The components of this equipment seem interesting. This is a servo crimping machine. Ruji Workshops now can crimp components with a minimum bore diameter of 0.23 millimeters. This is another grueling test on my eyesight. Yes, these precision operations have high technical requirements. The crimping pressure is over 10,000 newtons. It seems like an inspection device. How does it differ from the AOI equipment? This is the X-ray inspection equipment, similar to those in hospitals. It is used to inspect the interior of products. Conventional AOI equipment can only inspect the exterior. Look what I just found! Wow, what a nice and fast job in screw tightening. Our mission to find a job in screw tightening failed again. These are screwing robots that support programming and actions on any track and at any angle. There are similar equipment in our packaging and other work stages. This machine looks fun. It looks like Minions and Wally. This is a visual inspection robot that checks products before and after packaging. It checks for missing components, screws not tightened, damaged key components, and appearance scratches. This is our aging test room. When the switches operate at full load under the ambient temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, it is so noisy that the microphone fails to pick up sound property. In 2021, Chinese data centers consumed 216.6 billion kilowatt hours, 2.6% of China's total or two times the annual capacity of Three Gorges hydroelectric power station. Ruijia's data center products are evolving towards green, environmental friendly, and energy saving operating. The products we have seen before reduced power consumption by 25%. A device can save 100,000 kilowatts hour a year. Our tour of data centers switch manufacturing ends here. Thanks to Chen Han for showing us around. Not far from here is the delivery center. There, Ruijia products are continuously shipped to customers in various sectors. Ruijia products are almost everywhere for you, from shopping festivals to transnational journeys. Ruji's new workshop, a more intelligent digital plant, is also under intensive construction. Really looking forward to a callback to a true lights out workshop. Thanks for watching. Please like and forward this video. See you next time.